Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to version 1.16 of OctoApp. It has been a while since 1.15 was released in June, but I was not lazy. So let's see what 1.16 can do. There are two main new features. One that was highly requested, but I also spent a lot of time rebuilding the main controls interface. They may look a lot like before, but everything is rebuilt from scratch. So why would I do that? The old system was quite limiting and was preventing me from adding new features. And of course, everything should also be just a little bit more snappy than before. So what's actually new? There's no support for the cancel object plugin, a really essential plugin to use with the Octoprint. For those who don't know it, it basically allows you to cancel a single object instead of the entire print in case something goes wrong. It's actually really cool. So how does it work? Octoapp now shows you the objects while you're printing. You can see up to five at a time. And the object that's currently being printed, it's highlighted with a small arrow at the side. The button above allows you to see the objects being laid out on your print bed. If you have the G-code feature unlocked, you'll also see the live print progress here. Tapping any of the dots allows you to cancel the corresponding objects after confirming again. Keep in mind, once canceled, there is no way back to continue printing this object. Of course, this is now also available on Wear OS. This means you can cancel the object on the fly from your wrist. You can't see the layout on the watch though, so make sure to give good names to the objects in your slicer. The second feature is also a new control. When you get ready to print, usually you just upload a file or you do a second attempt on a previously failed print job. Octap now offers you the quick print controls. You see your last uploaded file, the file that's currently being selected in the web interface and your last failed or succeeded prints. You can either directly start a print with a single tap or open the file details first. Next up, there's also a small quality of life improvements for those of you who have way too many printers to handle. You can now show the name of the currently active printer in the status bar. This should help you to not mix up your printers anymore. Small feature, but I think for some people it will be really life-changing. The webcam full screen also received some love. Before, you were quite limited with information you could see during prints. With the new version, you can now fully configure the print information in the webcam full screen. Basically, everything you can see in the main progress controls, you can now also see in the webcam full screen. You also have the same configuration options to decide what you want to show, in which font size or which date formats to use. I also improved the watch app. You can now see your G-code history on the watch and send any of your recently used or pinned commands. And of course, there were also many small improvements around the app. For example, the G-code preview uses much less memory than before and the app is now compiled with a performance optimization mode, which should make everything just a little bit snappier than before. And that's version 1.16. If you want to stay up to date with OctoApp, make sure to subscribe for upcoming tutorials and other videos. As always, Enjoy the app and happy printing.